Welcome everyone to Mainstream Media, and we are today doing an update on the Bryn Bills story that we released a while ago. Um, there's just been a lot of sad stuff going on around this case, yeah. and now um, they have found Bryn Bills' body, and another person in connection with the case has gone missing. I know you have some more details on that. Yeah, let me speak about what happened with Bryn Bills. Um, first of all, I want to apologize to Dwayne Bills. You know, I'm sorry that you have to go through this. I don't understand it, and most of us don't understand uh, the pain that you're going through. We don't know how to relate to that, but um, I know, and Mark knows, you know, we believe that God um, will help you figure this out, you know, and uh, so we're always here for you and your family, Dwayne. Um, my condolences go to you. Same with Mark, uh, mainstream media. Uh, we want to make sure we cover this in a way that's respectful. So I, what I did was I gathered up information from Alpena News uh, on Bryn Bills and uh, Abby Hill, which is the other missing person, and I'm just going to read uh, what they have from alpinanews.com. Um, here we go. Police confirmed Wednesday, September 29th, they have found the body of Alpina teen Bryn Bills, who has been missing since the first day of August, and their investigation now shifts to a suspicious death inquiry. inquiry. Acting on a tip, police on Tuesday dug behind an Alpena Township home, discovered human remains in recently overturned soil. Police identified the body as Bills by tattoo markings. Police arrested the owner of Naylor Road Home, Joshua Wargo, on unrelated charges on Monday night, as if Wednesday police considered Wargo a person of interest in Bill's death, according to First Lieutenant Grimshaw, commander of the Michigan State Police Alpena Post. Police on Wednesday offered no details about the conditions of Bill's body, including how long it may have been buried or the potential cause of, Grim cause of death, Grimshaw said. Police have no suspects in Bill's death at the time, although they have multiple persons of interest, according to Grimshaw. Police or Bills would have turned 18 on August 12th. I'm gonna stop there for a second. That's just, it's just horrible. I mean, this young girl turning 18, and here we go. Something happened, and people know about it. People know the truth and what happened, and they're not coming out. And God tells us not to be cowards, not to be cowards. I mean, we just learned that in biblical citizenship. Yeah. Right? Not to be cowards. And when I heard that, it, it definitely brought me to this case. Because the people behind it that know what happened, that might have had a play in it, are being cowards because they're not coming out with the truth. And it's the truth that sets people free. And that's absolutely true. Yes, it might get them locked up, mm -hmm. but it sets their heart and spirit free from the law of spirit. And leading off of that, um, Abby Hill is one of the three persons of interest, I believe it would be in this case. Right. Um, and she is now missing as well. And no one knows where she is. They are looking for her, attempting to find her uh, in another case other than just this case. Correct. There was a, I believe it was a holdup, it says in here yeah, somewhere. It falls, or imprisonment or something like that. Yeah. Uh, according to this, which I believe you also got from the Alpena News, yep, yep, it says, according to handwritten notes in a court file, a man said Wurga asked him for a ride from Naylor Road on September 21st, and Shrebnik, Hill, and Wurga, all armed with firearms, allegedly got into the man's vehicle, and Wurga held a pistol to the man's head and demanded a ride to the intersection of Lacombe and Haken Roads in Alpena Township, a five-minute drive. So Josh, 
or right, Josh Wargo put a pistol to the truck driver's head. Uh, according to the news article, yes. Wow. And then she, Bryn Bills is dead, and he has a gun. It's like tie the two together, you know. Um, listen to this. Her father, Dwayne Bills, believes his daughter probably did not reach that birthday, he told the news on Wednesday. He encouraged people to continue to call in with tips and hopes police will find anyone involved with his daughter's death. They found her, so obviously something got, somebody got some answer. How does this, this read's kind of funny. They found her, so obviously somebody's got some answer, answering to do on the subject. So somebody has answers, that's what it's saying. Um, Wergo was arraigned on Tuesday in the 88th District Court on charges of unlawful imprisonment and assault with a dangerous weapon. The alleged victim related to those charges is not Bill. Charges is not Bill's, according to the court records. Wergo's court record indicates multiple prior charges, including for sexual assault and drugs. He is lodged in Alpena County Jail without bond. Grimshaw would not say whether Bill's knew Wergo. Grimshaw would not say how many people of interest police have in the case or whether police included Wergo in their investigation before they uncovered Bill's body in his yard. <laughs> and so, I mean, and I get it because the case is open, so they can't speak. They can't say, look, we got this evidence on him and we're going to take him down in court. Uh, because that will give him the power, the firepower, to fight back in court if he knows what they have. Because then he can come up with some rational story, he can find an alibi and work it all out. And what they're doing, police, this is what they do, they, they hide the evidence until it's time to bring the evidence out. And once they bring the evidence out, they're bringing it because they got firepower. And they're coming down. And, and what I hope, and this is what I pray for, that God shows them the evidence and that God um, helps their minds, you know, uh, think clearly, that they have sober thinking, you know, because the devil prowls around like a roaring lion. That's what it says in First Peter or Second Peter. Um, and what is it, First Peter or Second Peter? First Peter, I think. Yeah. First Peter. Um, so he prowls around like a roaring lion. So the devil is trying to probably persuade these police not to go a certain direction. And, and God's saying go this way, but the devil's saying go this way, and, and they're not going to find anything when they go this way. But God's saying go this way, talk to this person, do this. And my hope, my prayer is that they listen to God. They listen to what his commands are in, his, in their hearts and their gut. Trust the gut, right? I mean, typically my gut it tells me when, it's hung, when I'm hungry. <laughs> it also uh, tells me when something's wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, my body Conscience. Hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else do we got on her? Like, what's going on with Abby Hill? Like, uh, what do you got? Well, Abby Hill, it says Hill is wanted on felony warrants for unlawful imprisonment and felon in possession of a firearm. The police said Tuesday they consider Hill missing and possibly endangered. Um, apparently, Hill knew Bryn Bills as a Facebook friend, at least. Mm. It was possibly they knew each other in person. Right. Um, let's see. Just looking through this. Uh, pretty much everything else has already been covered, except it says... At the bottom, anyone with any information about Hill should call the Alpena Post at 989-354-4101 or Crime Stoppers at Michigan of Michigan at 800-773-2587 and callers can remain anonymous. And, and that will be uh, probably down in the description, right? Yeah. Okay. So that'll be down in the description. So the number will be there. So I urge those who see this video that know something to call that number. Um, Cause the sooner we find information, the sooner everything can be wrapped up and we don't have to deal with this anymore. I mean, I know the families are going to be struggling with this probably for a long time. The rest of their lives, I mean, you know. I, 
You gotta think about it if you had a kid and you lost it. Mm -hmm. The pain, I mean, that is pain that never goes away. God does come in and comfort us. So I found a piece of scripture that talks about God's compassion and comfort. And right now, I, I really believe the Bills family, that's what they need. They need God's comfort during this time of suffering. So I'm going to read this verse, and uh, um, it's in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses uh, 3 through 6. It says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all of our troubles so that we can comfort those in any troubles with the com comfort we ourselves received from God. For just as we share abundantly in the sufferings of Christ, so also comfort abounds through Christ. If we are distressed, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which produces in you patient endurance of the same sufferings we suffer. Now, Dwayne and the rest of the family, me and Mark are not going to stop. We will continue to make videos. We'll continue to call out those who have participated in these crimes and in hopes that this brings out the truth from them. Mm -hmm. that's, our, that's our hope. Our hope that these videos will help people um, to be inspired to do something different to be, be there for the other people, not for yourself. Our world, our lives, our world, um, everything is too short. And we need to make the best of it. And if this is how we can comfort those who are going through sufferings, this is what we will do. I want to make sure we do say that um, this video is special. It's a special video. It's, and, and all our videos are not going to be on this case. Um, right now, I believe we have made a list of um, songs. So do you want to speak about that real quick? Yeah. So we are coming up. We're planning on releasing it on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. We're planning on releasing a playlist of Christian Christmas songs. Yeah. And as of right now, it is over 340 songs long. Wow. I did some All Christmas songs? All Christmas songs. Oh, I might go crazy. <laughs> um, it is, we went, th I went through and did some calculations because Dad was wondering, like, how long is this thing? And assuming that every song on there is an average of three minutes, <laughs> it is 17 hours long right now. And oh, my I goodness. I keep remembering... Uh, other artists that I've forgotten. So it will continue to grow probably even through the Christmas season. Right, right. And there's all sorts of genres on there. Like there is, I know, some Lecrae. Awesome. We yep. have, um, there are some hard rock covers. Okay. And then we have more classic stuff like right. Silent Night and right. things like that from Chris Tomlin and Michael W. Smith okay. that are the right now pretty much the backbone of Christian Christmas music right and right. then there will be some songs on there that were done by secular artists but all of those are their covers of blatantly Christian songs yep so yep. like there are a couple secular covers of yep. Mary did you know correct which is not secular in any sense of the term it is <laughs> right if there's a Christian song out there <laughs> That is the Christian song. Yeah. You know, so, um, yeah, that is, 
definitely not a secular song, so I'm glad that we can share that as well, you know. Um, and they'll probably know the artist. Is who who uh, does that song? What, what artist uh, do you I have believe, on there? W let's see, we have, uh, from Christian artists, I know we have Chris Tomlin, Michael W. Smith, like I already said. We also have, for Kane Country, um, I know there's a bunch of artists got together and did some of the more rap and stuff like that. Yep. Which was, I think, Lecrae, Andy Minio. Tadashi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then yeah. there are, let's see, Crowder, Rent Collective, uh, let's see, Amy Grant, uh, just a, just whole, a whole bunch. Long list. Right. right. I've pretty much been going through every Christian artist I can think of <laughs> and just seeing, typing in, okay, this person's Christmas songs. Okay, just load these in here. Right, right. I, I try not to have duplicates of like the same song by the same artist mm. that's the same exact thing multiple times. <laughs> so it's really helpful if you're like a Christian artist out there and you see this. If you could just make a Christmas playlist right. on your page, right. that would be very helpful for me. But <laughs> I mean, like, I've had to go through so many. It's like they have four different Christmas playlists that are collections from all these different albums mm. and they have duplicates of so many songs it's ridiculous right right yeah that's that's uh it's pretty crazy how many mm -hmm. songs we have to give you guys you know that you can play for 17 hours at your house and drive your parents crazy, drive your spouse crazy, drive your kids crazy, your dogs crazy, your cats crazy I'm sure but also get in the spirit. Mm -hmm. it, you know, Christmas is coming up, and uh, it is a time that, you know, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. And uh, what an amazing, amazing thing that is. But I also, um, to end tonight, I want you guys and gals who are watching if there's a topic out there that you want us to discuss, um, maybe a, a Christian topic that has some, uh, I don't know, what, what would you call it? Controversy? Yeah, some controversy. Maybe you think that's contradicting, con contradicting something. Mm -hmm. You know, that type of stuff. So if, if there's something out there you want us to discuss and dig in deep um, and get everything we can to uh help you uh provide you the information that's needed so just let us know um put it in the comments uh please like this video subscribe hit that button um we are a new channel we are figuring this out we're trying to figure out all the camera stuff you know like right now we're using a canon uh camera um the mark m2 um it's a pretty sweet camera check it out if you guys need a camera I do suggest that uh, we're using a Rode uh, Squirrel mic, <laughs> um, but the setup is, uh, you know, cheap but good, and uh, we hope to bring you some really cool videos using Power Director as Mark is learning that, and um, you know, we love you guys. We're, we'll pray for you guys and gals, and uh, Dwayne, like I said, if you're watching this, man. Get a hold of us if you need to. We got your back. We'll do anything that is right that you would want us to do. So, uh, well, Mark, I think we have completed this video. What do you think? What do you guys think? Are we done? Well, <laughs> oh yeah, they're saying we're done. So. Oh hey, well, okay, yep. Sorry guys. They're well, saying we've taken too long. So gotcha, okay. until next time, we will be doing something behind the scenes here at Mainstream Media. <laughs> and I'm sure you will be living your life with the addition of the knowledge you've gotten today. Right. And so. the 17 hours of Christmas videos that are coming out Black Friday. Subscribe, like. Thank you, Mark, for being here, bud. See you guys.